In this video, we will go over proper positioning and draping of a patient in dorsal lithotomy position using both yellowfin boot stirrups and candy cane stirrups, which are the two most commonly used stirrups. Boot stirrups are usually used in cases longer than 30 minutes, while candy cane stirrups can be used in cases that are less than 30 minutes. Proper positioning in the OR is important because incorrect positioning can lead to regional ischemia and peripheral nerve injury. First, we will go over the yellowfin boot stirrup. Press the bottom portion of the bracket to allow it to latch onto the rail. Attach the bracket to the lowest portion of the side rail on each side of the bed. Latch the top portion onto the bed first, followed by the bottom portion. Look at the bottom of the boot foot to determine which side of the bed each boot should be placed. Next, take each boot stirrup and insert the metal portion into the bracket parallel to the bed. Make sure the stirrup lines up and does not go past the lowest portion of the side rail. Make sure the patient's buttocks are at the lower edge of the table. Place the legs simultaneously into the stirrups to avoid extension of the hip joint or torsion of the lumbar spine. Ensure that the heel is pressed against the back portion of the boot and the foot is flat. Secure the legs into the boot with the straps. Remove the bottom portions of the bed to allow for easier access of the surgical areas of interest. Adjust the leg by loosening the stirrup. To avoid the peroneal nerve being compressed, the lateral lower leg should be free or padded. To avoid compression of the saphenous nerve, the medial lower leg should be free or padded. The popliteal fossa should be left free to avoid compression of the sciatic nerve. The patient's toe, knee, and opposite shoulder should form a line and the knee should be neutrally rotated. You can use the lever at the bottom of the boot to lower or raise the legs. Keeping the legs lower can help avoid interference during laparoscopic surgery or with a lower abdominal incision. Elevating the legs can provide maximal access to the perineum. When taking the patient out of lithotomy position, make sure to remove the legs simultaneously, the same way as when placing the legs in position. Next, let's review how to set up the candy cane stirrups. First, hook the straps on like shown. The bracket for these stirrups is similar to that of the boot stirrups. Like before, press the bottom portion of the bracket and latch the top portion onto the side rail. Place a candy cane stirrup on each side of the bed, making sure that it is positioned perpendicular to the bed to start with. Once in the right position, tighten the stirrup into place. The ergonomic handle in the middle of the stirrup can adjust the height of the candy cane depending on the height of the patient. Like before, simultaneously lift the patient's legs into each stirrup. One arm will cradle the leg while the other adjusts the straps around the foot. One strap should cradle the forefoot and the other strap should cradle the patient's heel. This is a side view of a patient in proper lithotomy positioning with proper feet placement. Once in the stirrups, make sure that the area of the leg that is adjacent to the metal rod of the stirrup is not touching the rod. In this example, the patient's knees are hyperflexed. Adjust the angle of the candy canes if the legs are excessively angled by using the same handles used to change height. Here, we laterally rotated the stirrups to achieve optimal positioning so that the patient's legs are at a 90 degree angle. In candy cane stirrups, there is more pressure on the lateral fibular head as compared to the boot stirrups, where there is more weight placed in the heel of the foot. Therefore, proper positioning is key. The goal is to have the patient's legs in a position without hyperextension or hyperflexion. If the hip angle is less than 90 degrees, this can compress the obturator and lateral femoral cutaneous nerves at the level of the inguinal ligament. This is how the patient's legs should look like before starting the surgery. To remove the patient from lithotomy position, replace the bottom of the bed and remove the legs together. As a conclusion, when placing a patient in dorsal lithotomy position, ensure that the thighs are flexed and abducted and knees are flexed with minimal external rotation to prevent any nerve compression or regional ischemia. Now, we will demonstrate two proper draping techniques in the lithotomy position. Start with the under buttock drape. 
place your right hand in the pouch where it says right hand and place your left hand in the pouch where it says left hand. Laterally unfold the drape and it should naturally fall down. Place under buttocks until it fits securely. To place the leggings with cuff, place left hand under pouch that says left hand under cuff. And with your right hand, grab the part that says toe and pull out. You can have an assistant help pull the drape over the leg, as shown. Do the same for the other leg. This is what the leg drapes should look like once placed. We can use a fan folded 3 4 drape to place over the abdomen. Laterally unfold the drape. Grab the bottom portion while your assistant grabs the top portion to pull up to the patient's head. Adjust the perineal fenestration as needed. The other draping technique we will demonstrate is with the lithotomy drape. First, peel off the stickers. Next, orient the drape with the patient's body. The head of the figure on the drape should be in the same direction as the patient's head. Note the writing that says place on perineum this side up. That is the side that should be touching the patient's skin. Place on perineal area and unfold towards the head. With your right hand, grab the part that says lift over limb, and with your left hand, grab the part that says grasp here with left hand and lift. Lift over leg and the drape should cover the leg if done successfully. Do the same for the right side, but use your left hand to grab the part that says lift over limb and use your right hand to grab the part that says grasp here with right hand and lift. Lift over leg. This is what the draping should look like if done successfully. This concludes our video on how to properly position a patient in lithotomy position using stirrups and how to use two separate techniques to drape the patient in lithotomy position. Thank you for listening.